So hi guys, it's me Peter of GetsGuide.com and we are here inside the Huawei concept store in Shenzhen, China. This is one of the biggest Huawei stores here. And what I just showed you earlier are the three new Nova 5 phones. Basically, this is the Nova 5i, Nova 5i Pro, and the uh, Nova 5. These phones are uh, equipped with very promising specs and look at those designs. The designs are really looking good so far. And I believe they are priced uh, very very low here in China around CNY 199 and more. Let's move to the Nova 5i first. This is our first look with the Nova 5i. Uh, quick recap, Nova 5, uh, Nova 3i is one of the most popular phones in the Philippines but they made the upgrade. This is the upgrade, the Nova 5i. Uh, the chipset is still Kirin 710 but they made its overall specs look better. Uh, Look at that. It has a 24 megapixel main camera. It has this 8 megapixels wide camera. It has this uh, third camera at f2.4, maybe the depth sensor. And then it also has this another camera, maybe it's the macro sensor at f2.4. And the selfie camera has a 24 megapixels f2.0 sensor. And then you get a 4000 milliampere of battery. Looking at its design, it's very, very, very stylish looking. Uh, I like the curves. Although it's plastic, it's plastic. It's not metal and glass, but it still looks premium for for that asking price, the low asking price. And again, guys, this is one of the most. I believe this is one of the most affordable with a punch hole display. There's a punch hole display. That's what's new here. I forgot the exact measurements, but uh, here they have they have it. They have the measurements here. I just can't read it. <laughs> it's in Chinese. Uh, there's some English translation. So here, 159.1 millimeter by 75.9 by 8.3 millimeter. So it's pretty slim. And then it weighs at 178 grams. Overall, uh, this one has showing a lot of promise. Although I don't like the processor. The processor is still the aging Kirin 710. Maybe they should have used the new 810 here. But I like the design, I like that the fingerprint scanner is here. I like that it has four cameras at the back. Uh, and I like that you get this punch hole here. And the punch hole doesn't look that bad. Although I would have liked it better if uh, it has a pop-up camera instead. But anyway, this is just fine. This is, a, this is a more affordable phone. And this is still one of the most affordable with uh, punch hole display. I just can't read Chinese, but this is what its uh, interface looks like. That's Alora and that's me. <laughs> Those are my friends. My friends. Uh, anyway, that's it. This is the Nova 5i. We still don't have this in the Philippines. Uh, I don't know if they will release these phones soon in our country, but I don't know. Next is this. I. This is the more promising unit for me. This is the Nova 5i Pro. This is a phone that is powered by the new Kirin 810 chipset. Kirin 810, to recall, it is the very first uh, 7 nanometer mid-range chip. It's not technically the first 7 nanometer chip in the world. That's the Kirin 810 and the 812 of Apple. But for a mid-range chip, this is the first uh, phone with a 7 nanometer mid-range chip. Anyway, the design also reminds me of the Mate 20, but instead of just having three cameras at the back, it also has four cameras. Four cameras. And what is this? I think this is a dual tone LED flash. I don't know if I'm correct. And uh, look at her 48 MP. Oh, 48 MP is the main sensor. That's huge. That's massive. And then I like that the fingerprint scanner placement is here. And look at the patterns. The patterns, it has some nice patterns there. And yes, it looks like a mate. It looks like a mate phone. They're also saying that this might be the Mate 30 Lite as well, but we are not yet sure about that. It is named as the Nova 5i Pro here. Anyway, let's go, let's go to its front. The front panel, like the Nova 5i, uh, it has a punch hole display. But I believe the bezels are slimmer. Let's confirm that. I don't know if I'm correct. Oh, the bezels are about the same. About the same. Anyway, 
let's move to the specs. Uh, okay, 48 MP f1.8, you get the 8 MP f2.4, that's the wide lens, even though I have I can't read Chinese. And you get another 2 MP depth, and then you get another 2 MP for macro. I think it's a 4 cm macro sensor. Uh, looks very, very good so far. It's using a 6.26 inches base, so this is smaller. This is smaller than the Nova 5i. Smaller. It's more compact, but maybe I like this better because of its chipset. It's more powerful. And the price? The price is... Yeah, obviously. Obviously, the price is more expensive. Hmm. At CNY 2199 for the 6 gig RAM and 120 gigabyte storage but it has a version with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage that's it's promising oh, it's again the build is glass thick it is not really uh, metal and glass and that is okay because this is a mid-range phone maybe some will even consider this as a budget phone for the rich like this guy like this guy anyway it's a rich guy it's a very rich guy <laughs> anyway yeah using credit card always just buying everything that he wants overall uh, please give me some later look, look same camera interface very very nova camera interface i'm familiar with it anyway let's move to the main event this one this is the nova 5 pro so this is the flagship Nova 5 phone today. It's priced at CNY2999 for the 8GB of RAM and 1 to 8GB of storage. And how much yung CNY2999? <laughs> <laughs> no, this one, the 2999. We will convert. I will I will put the conversion in this uh, uh, video because I can't read Chinese and I can't convert in Chinese. <laughs> anyway. I'm, this is showing a lot of promise. I'm just rich, I'm bad and yeah, you're, he's just rich but bad and mad. Anyway, <laughs> the colors, the colors are really good. And by the way, guys, they have a new branding. The new Nova branding is here. Uh, my friend Alora is very busy there. Anyway, <laughs> it's so good. Okay, there's a triple camera setup. There's a triple camera setup. No, 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 no. This is four. It's four cameras. And then you get another 48 MB f1.8 sensor. And it's a vertically aligned camera setup so far. There you go. Now let's move to the specs. Let's read the specs. Kiri 980. So Kiri 980, that's the same, the same processor with my Huawei P30 Pro. It's, it's nice. Then you also get a 32 MP selfie camera. Then you get a 16 MP ultra wide lens. And then you get another uh, depth camera, and then you get another macro camera. I don't know why Huawei opted for the macro camera for the extra macro camera instead of just putting it on the ultra wide lens. Just what like they did with the P30 Pro. Maybe they could add a depth sensor here, but maybe that's the reason behind that. Maybe it's uh, they're saving cost. They, they want to make it cheaper, but they want to add more cameras. Maybe that's the reason behind it. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. It is not just a 3D curve. It's not 3D curve, but it is glass. I think this is really glass. I think this is uh, this feels more premium than the two other devices that we had earlier. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it feels more premium. But I like the design of this better compared to this. The design of this is looks really really good okay uh, that's it for now this is our quick uh, look with the new huawei nova 5 phones again we have here the nova 5i and then we get the nova 5i pro with kirin 810 the da vinci chip and then we get this flagship nova 5 pro with kirin 980 inside and the powerful 48 megapixel camera again Meet the new Huawei Nova 5 phones. This is Peter of Saying thank you to everyone who watched this video. Bye bye.